Let's go to Austin and see for an amazing hike and to paint a watercolor live. <laughs> Today, I am embarking on an epic Okinian Sea solo hike loop from Candestek. The hike will be divided in three sections. Candestek Okinian Sea, admiring closely the massive growth fall that created the lake two millenniums ago. Okinian Sea, perfect spot for watercolor painting. Unveiling Okinian Sea and surrounding plus 3,000 meter peaks panorama from a 2,000 meters altitude narrow path and three returning to Candestek completing the loop back to Candestek by the other side and obviously I'll be painting a live watercolor of this breathtaking landscape so let's dive right into this adventure after taking a wrong train and wasting a couple of hours I arrived to Pitores village of Candestek where my hike begins right from the beginning we discovered the magnificent peaks behind the lake full of snow and glaciers. Hike is easy. The wide path drops some zigzag between forest areas, cliffs and cascades, showing beautiful views of Candestek. Before a massive rockfall, there was no lake here. It was simply the end of a valley. However, an earthquake triggered a huge rockfall, creating a dam of rock, allowing the lake we see today to form. All the rocks under our feet as we walk up from the valley come from this rockfall. If you look to the right when facing Okinian Sea, you can see where this rock came from. Here we are, Okinian Sea. This place is absolutely magical. Although the Alps were formed about 20 to 30 million ago, Okinian Sea is quite young, having been formed only 2,300 years ago. There's nothing quite like enjoying a meal with a view like this. The crystal clear water of Okinian Sea is surrounded by powering peaks, but the adventure doesn't stop here. My goal is to find the most epic spot to capture this beauty on a watercolor. So let's keep moving. The blue-green shades, which will change accordingly to the weather and the seasons. All this makes the Oceanian Sea a wonderful place to enjoy all year round. And of course, there are also the crystalline rivers that flow into the lake from the glaciers through several waterfalls. What a disaster! <laughs> I didn't saw early this morning, then when I arrived to Spitz, guess what? I was playing with my new camera, then that train was splitting half of it to Swaisim and the other half to Kandersteg. And guess what? I took the wrong one. So I lost two hours and a half. And when I arrived to Candestek, I said to myself, I'm gonna take the cable car to save some time. But it was not up until the 9th of May. So for four days, <laughs> I have to walk up. It was a nice hike, full of tourists, a bit, you know, a bit heavy. But the thing is, I was hungry. I took my meal at the, at the hut. It was all fine, but I realize I have one hour and a half to get to the point where I like to make the watercolor and it's almost four so I'm gonna get there for sure but the watercolor is gonna be a fast one. Nice hike. Um, before finishing the hike and arriving to the watercolor point, I already know that I have to come back. All the mountains around are powerful. And even though the level of the lake is a bit low, after the melting, all this white snow all around is gonna be perfect, brilliant. So this summer I will come again, for sure. The trail gets a bit more challenging as we ascend to 2,000 meters. The air is crisp and the scenery is nothing short of spectacular. But the views are more than worthy. After the main part of the ascent, we reach a quite flat trail that offers breathtaking views. This is a two kilometers walk and it's a pure delight for the eyes. I reach almost 2,000. To be exact, 1978. This is the highest point of the hike. It's beautiful, as you can see, all the snow. But I have to go the other way 
or seen and see right down of me and then the mountains behind to make the water color. Someone told me that it's not that dangerous, but you have to be careful because it's narrow and this is really steep. So let's go. It doesn't really matter if you decide to do the hike in one direction or the other. Finding the perfect spot to be painted is not easy with so many beautiful views to choose from. But patience is key for both hiking and painting. What makes Okinawan Sea so special is that it's surrounded by plus 3,000 altitude peaks, Doldenhorn, Flundehorn, Oshinenhorn, and Blumlisaphorn, and their respective glaciers, which are hanging over the lake. We're getting closer to finding our perfect painting spot, but not yet. Honestly, this is the hike to be done if you come to Shinsi for the day. The loop is about 12.5 kilometers long and will take you on a path that goes up well above the lake and it, it will offer you landscapes that you will probably never ever forget. All right, all right, all right, I think I found it. Yeah, this is the spot. Time to set up and let the creativity flow. You know, painting outdoors is a unique experience. The light changes constantly and you have to capture the essence of the scene quickly. But that's what makes it so exhilarating. Okay, it's on. Here it is. A live watercolor of you can see with a bloomless up horn standing proudly in the background. I hope you like it as much as I enjoy it painting it. Finally, watercolor done. Have you seen the scenery? Woo! It is worth the visit! <laughs> the lake is a sort of amphitheater of mountains and glaciers that opens up to the side of Kandestag village. Time to go home! It was an amazing day! Our adventure doesn't end here. We continue our hike, completing a loop back to Kandestag. It's been an incredible day filled with nature's beauty and a touch of artistic inspiration. Thank you for joining me in this epic solo hide and live painting adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more artistic journeys and outdoor exploration. So see you next time. Happy trails and keep creating. Arriving to Candestech, let's summarize a little bit. It was a beautiful hike, beautiful also um, watercolor. I climbed up by one side and I came down by the other side. After this very anarchic day, because I had this issue with the train, I lost two and a half hours, then I had issues with uh, my memory cards, then I, I had a huge problem with my battery, but I am really, really happy. Terrific region that I didn't know at all. Beautiful, really beautiful. 